13 things you never knew you could make in a crock pot. Number one, lasagna. The best part about crock pot lasagna is that you don't need to pre-cook the noodles, which means less dishes to clean up. In a crock pot, put two cups of your favorite meat or veggie tomato sauce, put three noodles on top, then another layer of sauce, and a half a cup of cheese. Continue to build two more layers and reserve half a cup of cheese. Cover and cook on low for six hours, sprinkle with cheese, and cook for ten more minutes. Number two, pudding cake. Set this to cook in the morning and have an amazing dessert waiting for you when you get home from a long day at work. Mix together one box of chocolate cake mix, one package of chocolate instant pudding, two cups of sour cream, four eggs, three-fourths cups of oil, one cup of hot water, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Then, coat the inside of a slow cooker with cooking spray and pour in the batter. Cook on low for five to six hours. Serve with vanilla ice cream. Number three, mac and cheese. Slow cooked mac and cheese is creamier than baked, so make sure to have some nice crusty bread on hand to bring it all together. Whisk together one and a half cups of milk, 12 ounces of evaporated milk, one fourth cup of melted and cooled butter, three eggs and a half a teaspoon of salt. Pour into a buttered crock pot, add three cups of shredded cheese and a half pound of macaroni. Stir gently to combine and cook on high for 30 minutes. Reduce heat to low and cook for three more hours. Number four, bacon jam. Bacon jam is an amazing savory and sweet onion garlic spread. That is, we need to repeat, amazing. In a slow cooker, combine a half cup of cider vinegar, half cup of brown sugar, one fourth cup of maple syrup, and three fourth cup of coffee. Add one and a half pounds of bacon that has been lightly browned and drained. Mix in two small diced onions and three garlic cloves that have been cooked until translucent. Cook on high for four hours, coarsely chop in a processor, and serve warm on toast. Number five, dinner rolls. Cooking dinner rolls in a slow cooker creates bread that is warm and soft with a steamed bun texture. Take any yeast bread dough and cut into a small roll sized pieces. Put them in a buttered crock pot and let them rise for an hour. Cook the rolls on high for 60 to 90 minutes until they're no longer sticky. Serve warm and moan because they're so delicious. Number six, applesauce. Fresh applesauce is amazing. Served with a pork loin or just as a comforting snack, but it may seem a little intimidating to make. Never fear. All you have to do is peel, core, and dice 10 apples and put them into a slow cooker with a half a cup of water, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and one cup of sugar. Cook on low for eight to 10 hours and enjoy the warm cinnamon smell that permeates your house. Eat warm, cold, or freeze for later. Number seven, apple butter. Warm apple butter is like a taste of fall on a spoon and it's even better homemade. Peel, core, and dice six pounds of gala apples and put into a slow cooker. In a separate bowl, mix one cup of sugar, one cup of brown sugar, one tablespoon of cinnamon, half teaspoon of nutmeg, four teaspoon of cloves, four teaspoon of salt, and one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Combine with the apples and cook on low until the mixture has cooked down. Uncover and cook for two more hours. Blend until smooth and serve or store. Number eight, oatmeal. Steel cut oatmeal or whole oat groats are a great way to kickstart your morning, but the hour they take to cook makes that difficult. Instead, you should prepare oatmeal the night before for that wonderful smell in the morning. First, toast two cups of oats in a dry pan for five minutes until you can smell them. Then put the oats in a buttered crock pot with eight cups of water two cups of milk, one-fourth cup brown sugar, and a half teaspoon salt. Cook on low for eight hours and enjoy. Number nine, enchiladas. Cooking enchiladas in a slow cooker means less mess, which is always a good thing. Make your favorite enchilada filling and roll it into a corn or flour tortillas. Then put a cup of salsa in the slow cooker and put the enchiladas on top. Cover with more salsa and cheese. Repeat and create a second layer. Cook on high for four hours and sprinkle on a half cup of cheese in the last 10 minutes of cooking. Serve hot and delicious. Number 10, baked potatoes. Baked potatoes are an amazing comfort food, but they take forever to cook in the oven. And the microwave version is just not very satisfying. You know what's great about using a crock pot? You can put potatoes in before you go to work and come back to perfection, ready for whatever topping you want to add. So scrub four potatoes, prick with a fork, and wrap in foil. Cook on low for eight hours. Serve these with cheese, butter, sour cream, or other toppings. Number 11, bread pudding. Nothing is a better dessert on a cool fall evening than a warm, gooey bread pudding. 
and it will make your house smell absolutely wonderful. Into a buttered slow cooker, put eight cups of cubed day-old bread. In a separate bowl, combine four eggs, one and a half cups of milk, half cup of cream, one fourth cup of sugar, half cup of Nutella, half teaspoon of vanilla, and a fourth teaspoon of salt. Whisk until smooth, pour over bread cubes, and press cubes until all liquid is absorbed. Cook on low for three hours and serve warm with vanilla ice cream. Number 12, brownies. The best part about brownies made in a slow cooker is you can cook them without the panic of leaving your oven on and, of course, how gooey and delicious they are. Spray your slow cooker with a cooking spray and pour in your favorite brownie recipe. Cook on low for three hours. For a special treat, mix eight ounces of cream cheese with two tablespoons of cream and one cup of chocolate chips. Drop spoonfuls of this mix into the brownie batter and cook normally. It's seriously decadent. And number 13, cobbler. Peach cobbler is an amazing dessert. And this slow-cooked cobbler will delight you. In a buttered crock pot, put four cups of sliced peaches mixed with a fourth cup of sugar. In another bowl, mix one cup of cake mix half cup of sugar and one cup of milk until blended. Pour the mixture over peaches, cook on low for three hours or until the toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. Spoon it into bowls and dust lightly with cinnamon sugar for an added treat. Mm -hmm.